It was 30 years since they published the first paper, and in hindsight, we could see that everything was clearly laid out in their agenda. Capitalism had served its purpose, with the illusion of freedom and individual rights. What was coming had been dismissed over and over again as some far-out theory. The ultimate integration of AI had been marketed to us as a free energy utopia. Now we see this was simply part of the plan for ultimate worldwide control by the few. People were worn out, burnt down from the first round of lockdowns and now most of society was jobless and reliant on the state. We went into the second year of lockdowns. Schools, universities and all outside education were shut down due to the virus spreading amongst younger people. The education system was getting remodelled and the technology that had been built for years was ready to release into their new world. Families were bound to their houses. So much stress, tension, fear and confinement. Abuse cases rose. Families were torn apart. I came here as I thought this country had more freedom, opportunity, but now she's gone. It broke my heart to see my child taken from me. Day and night I longed to hold her in my arms. They told us the infections were rising at home. The virus had spread amongst families and people would be needed to be safeguarded underneath the new health protection law. They explained that your child would need to spend two weeks in an internment camp. You received a text and then you had to collect their belongings within one hour. A nurse took her away. It happened so quickly. They told me she'd be safe and under supervision. Then two weeks passed. Then three, four, until two months had passed. I heard nothing. I finally received video call telling me she had been taken to the main camp as her health issues had escalated. I was alone and I couldn't leave my house. I could only view her on a screen. They told me she'd be home once she was well, but it had been four months and I had heard nothing. When I redialed the number, the line had gone dead. Cyber polygon happened the month before, then internet access had become severely restricted. There was no way to reach her. I'm still searching for her. Now I risk my life every day by searching the streets for myself. I have to watch carefully, as the patrol cars are still keeping us under curfew. While the masses consumed the fear, society collapsed and in the blink of an eye it was all taken from us. For who controls the past controls the future and who controls the present controls the past. I remember that from school. I saw it happen to our world. We'd been kept in their illusion and trapped in their lies since birth, spoon fed and carried to the point of no return. I lost my child, everyone I ever loved and now I am here empty and alone. I didn't realise she could be taken from me until it happened. I didn't know they could go this far. Once control and power is seized, life can never return back to normality. We must resist. We must break chains and ask the big questions. I have entered this dark place from which I cannot go back. Can you see what's ahead of you? How much of your life do you lead? or do you let others continuously lead you?